G'day, it's Joe here again. Over the past year or so, a number of you have asked, what's the best way of setting up my Campaign Cartographer 3 mapping environment? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through setting up the Campaign Cartographer, applying the various updates that you'll need, and even adding some third-party products into it. To begin with, you'll need to make sure that you have got all of the software downloaded. You can go to the Pro Fantasy website to do this, and place them into a folder on my desktop, Pro Fantasy Installation Files. There we go. Now the main one that you want is this one here, cc3-iaf.exec. That's the main installer program for Campaign Cartographer, and the very powerful CAD system that exists underneath it. Simply double click on it to run. Now this can take a little while, because it's a very large file. Right, once the installer has finished verifying itself, it will open up the standard setup screen. Push Next, accept the license, Next, and type in your serial number. Push Next, and Complete. Followed by Next, 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 and then let it go. In other words, pretty much use all the defaults. So far it's not exactly rocket science, and Campaign Cartographer has now been successfully installed. When you click Finish, you can run Campaign Cartographer for the first time. And there it is. To continue, shut down Campaign Cartographer. The next thing to do is update Campaign Cartographer to the very latest edition. To do this, I'm going to go to the Pro Fantasy website again, click on Service, and go to Registration. I'll log in. As you can see, there is a Campaign Cartographer patch. It's really important that you get this patch, so download it now if you've not already done so. And there's patch 7 coming down now. Of course, in the future, you might find that there are additional patches, in which case always patch Campaign Cartographer to the latest and greatest issue. OK, now that our patch is down, let's go and install it. There it is. Double click on it. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. And Next, Next, Next as always. Once your patch is installed, I recommend that you go to Help, About CC3, and just double check which version you're running. In this case, I now have version 3.2.4, that's the latest version. You now have Campaign Cartographer and the very latest patches fully installed. At this point, you could start mapping. Just a little aside at this point. One of the reasons why it's really important to install the patch is it gives you additional styles. During my previous tutorials, I've used some very advanced styles, such as Fade Edge Inner. Let's go to the style sheets to show this. I'm going to add a new sheet. I'm going to call it Test. OK. Activate the sheets. And to this test sheet, I'm going to show you a new additional style. There it is, Edge Fade Inner. If you do not install the patches, you will not have the full range of style effects at your disposal. In the next tutorials, I'm going to show you how to add some extra features.